Hi everyone and welcome to our What's New video from Vendor Professional 2025. I'm your presenter Jason Kelly, an application specialist here at Symmetry. In this video I'm going to give you a list of the new tools and features available in the new 2025 release as Autodesk have looked at improving performance as well as tackling everyday design challenges. Let's get started with some patterning enhancements. Patterns in both the sketch and part environment now allow you to select a boundary to include patterns only stored within this particular area, allowing for more precision when patterning. The finish feature also sees an overhaul with improvements to selection priority, the inclusion of finishes in the derive feature, disabling of parameter exports, and inaccessibility with quick links to the finish library and the addition of the feature to show extended names. The sheet metal environment has been modernised with face, flange and cut moving to the new dockable system. A very sought after feature has also been included with bounding cylinders and oriented bounding cylinders in both the derive and make part dialog boxes and also in the simplify area. A new event trigger has also been added to iLogix functionality so you can now run rules before vault check-in. A couple of other iLogic changes sees the ability to inspect for malicious code and new snippets to help when working with model states. Looking at some of the more general enhancements, and a support add-in tool has been included to help monitor the performance of the software. Further to this, some graphics options sees improved selection priority and a tool to display each component or part in different colours. A nice tool for those converting to Revit files and families, as you can now send files to a specific version of Revit, allowing for back-saving functionality. Many more improvements have been added, as you can see here. One major thing to note about the new release is Autodesk moving to .NET Core 8.0 across the range. This will affect any custom add-ins and any applications linking to these products. The main reason for this move is to make connection improvements to other Autodesk platforms and mobile apps, and the ability to use advanced language features. To see a deeper dive into the new Inventor 2025 features, and to see how you may be affected by this move to .NET Core, please join us on our upcoming webinar. Thank you.